Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, I'm Steve Chapman. Today, it's the May unboxing or unbagging of Monster Bass. If you're unaware, Monster Bass is a monthly subscription you pay $35, $36 for. And they send you seven to eight top name brand fishing tackle, lures, baits, hooks, whatever it is. Now in the past few months, they have not risen to the top. They have not been the cream. They have been mediocre at best. So I'm very optimistic that this month they will jump up and be one of the best again. Now I only get three subscri subscription tackle boxes each month. I get the Florida Tackle Club, which is by far the best on the planet. I get Monster Bass and I get Bass Baits Monthly. If I were to look at the last few months, Bass Baits Monthly would be number two, Monster Bass would be number three. So today, you and I are gonna check out and see what is in this, in this. and we're gonna try to be a little bit different uh, on how we grade this. I'm gonna grade it first on named recognition. Next, it's gonna be, does it make it inside the tackle box? Because when I've looked at the last few months, um, I think, I, think I, I did some stats on it, or not some stats, I looked at the last few months and took notes and stuff. Of the four months that I've gotten, the, la um, the last four months of Monster Bass, I put one bait of theirs in my tackle box. The rest have been given away to you guys. So uh, it hasn't been, it's been a little bit of a rocky road. So we'll see that. So we're going to see one on name brand, two on it, is it does it go into the tackle box. And then this month we're going to see, you're going to see something a little bit differently. You're actually going to be able to see a 360 up close view of the lure. But also I'm going to try to put the lures into the water so you can see exactly what they look like underwater. So I hope you enjoy it. Tell me what you think. Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Make sure you click that notification button too and comment and tell me what you think. Should I be doing the underwater? Am I right? Am I wrong? But keep it, but keep it real. Don't just have an opinion and just be a jerk. I mean, it's embarrassing to sit in front of the camera and talk to it as is. So give me a little bit of, a little bit of uh, not so much grief. That's the best way to put it, I guess. So here we go. Now, I should say right off the bat, in the last four months, the best thing I've gotten in Monster Bass has been the bags. That's the truth. I love the bags. I bring the bags with me everywhere. I have them, uh, I have Tackle Webs ones, I have these ones, and they make my life a lot easier. So I do really, really appreciate that they put them in here. Now, what am I going to do when I have 15 of them? Who knows? But right now I have four of them, and I'm pretty happy with that. So they, they're automatically going to get a thumbs up on the bags. I like the bags. I love them. Okay. They always give you some literature. Um, Big Bass Championship that they have going on. Next, they have all the good stuff. The total v retail value of this box, they say, is about 48 bucks. And then they have Meet Alex Rudd, the guy who we got that bait from a long time ago. So we'll keep hold of this so we can check on that. They always give us... A uh, sticker, a Lunker Hunt sticker that goes in the garbage. Um, they give us a golden ticket. Winners announced on Man Monster Bass Live every Thursday at 7 p.m. You must be present to claim it. Anybody want my ticket? There it is. There's my ticket number. Probably shouldn't do that, but that's life. They gave us a freedom toss, and I'm freedom tossing that sticker right into the garbage. And also a little detour sunglasses, $10 cash card if someone wants to use that. There's the cash card too. There's the code if you want that. I won't be using that either. So first, they sent us a Raptor Matt Crasher Frog. Looks like a pretty decent frog right there. 
Never heard of Raptor, but um, looks decent. Looks decent, pretty good color. I you know I'm a black person, but it looks like a decent looking, decent one. Okay, next from Vicious Fishing, they sent the SC70, it's two and three quarters, weight one third ounce, and it dives two to four feet. Not bad either, at least they gave us something that is under six foot, which I appreciate, so thumbs up on that. Next, from Smart Baits, they sent us some um, who knows looks like a little paddle tail kind of thing worm it doesn't have anything that says what the brand is other than it says what the brand is it doesn't say anything about what the color is doesn't say what the name of the bait is so if I need to order more I'll never know what it is thumbs down on that mm -hmm. and that isn't for monster bass that's for smart baits you want to start selling more baits Start putting what the name of the baits are on there, smart baits. Come on now. Hate that. Hate that. Next, from Big Bite Baits, they sent some kamikaze sw swimming. Swim on. Looks like a little, uh, might be a good little trailer bait. Not bad, not bad. Blue, black, and blue. I like that. Really like that. I love that they put not for human consumption. Next from X Zone. These are new, the drop hot drop shot bait. These are the Pro Series Swim Swimmer Slammer that are not bad looking from uh, Brandon Palinick. Not a drop shotter, but I mean, oh well. Next from KVD Spinner Bait. It's a 3/8 ounce spinner bait right there. Good looking one from Strike King. Really can't beat that. That's not bad. I don't mind that. They gave us some hooks. Let's see what kind of hooks they gave us. They gave us some standout. Oh, I think these are from, from Daiichi, so I'll use these for sure. See, they have a different shape to them. These are for drop shotting too, I think. And then last but not least, they sent a Mustat. I don't know what it is. Scatter Shad Bladed Jig. Right there. Um, I'm glad they sent a bladed jig. Um, no offense to Mustad. This is just the problem with this this one. If you watch the closer look, it, the line gets tangled at the front and uh, right here under right over here, and and it gets just wound up, wound up. If you tie it straight to braid, so my suggestion is tie it to fluoro or or mono or something, and you might have a better option on it. It just it didn't this bait didn't work for me. Um, so. That's that's how it is. Not a bad box. I mean, is this better than than uh, the last few months? Yes, for sure. Of all the brands in here, there's only one I've never heard of, and that's the Frog. And actually, the Frog's the one I'm most interested about. So, in terms of name recognition, I probably would give this maybe an eight, eight and a half. There's a lot of there's a lot of quality name products in this this month's bag or box, whatever you want to say. So I'm going to say eight and a half for name recognition. And that is a huge improvement because I think last month, I probably would have given last month maybe a three or a four. So much better job on getting named products like you said they're going to do in the bag and box. I like that. I appreciate that. In terms of things that I'm going to use to fish, I'm going to try the frog for sure. Um, I keep every spinner bait that I have ever gotten unless somebody asked me for it and and so the spinner bait I'm gonna keep. Will I use it? I don't know. The smart baits I'm not gonna use. The big bite baits I'm gonna try. I think I might, might use those as a trailer. Um, the X zones, these I'm not gonna use at all. I don't drop shot. The scatter shad I'm not gonna use either. That's a giveaway. Still a good, decent name product. And that little crank bait right there, I'll probably give that a shot. So of all the things, there's probably four out of the eight things I'm going to put into the tackle box. And that also is a 
absolute huge improvement over the last few months. To get three or four to put into my tackle box, that actually makes me a little bit happy. But overall, they can't cater it exactly to me. It's got to be a global thing, so I understand that. For fishing down here, I think I probably would give it a maybe a seven and a half. Maybe a seven, seven and a half, I would say, in terms of fish ability. Uh, only because I'm not going to use a scatter shad at all. I mean, if I'm going to use a, a, jig, a bladed jig, I'm going to use a Z-Man. I mean, it makes noise. It's proven. That scatter shad just doesn't do it for me. The frog is nice, even though I don't know the name of the, don't know the company. It looks good, but we'll see how it works. And some of the, the, the baits. I mean, I hate that Smart Baits makes these baits and then they don't put what, which the name, what the name of it is. I think that's poor planning. But I think what happens is they probably buy a bunch of these and they just throw them in whatever bag they can they can instead of making a sticker for each one they just throw them in the bag and say here you go monster bass. So I'm going to say I'm going to say 7. That might not be it might be six and a half, seven. If there's only 50% of the baits I'm going to use, you would think I'd give it a 5 out of 10. And that makes that to be honest that makes sense. Look now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to give it a 6 in terms of fish ability because I you can use I could use the spinner bait uh, I can use the frog the X zones I'm not going to use like I said so I want to hear what you think be honest keep it real uh, if you got this as a gift would you like it what do you think of they did do they did they step up their game you tell me so comment below right down there it's right down there comment below keep it real don't make it harsh I know uh, sometimes it comes across as harsh, but it isn't meant to be. It's meant to be honest. That's what this is about. Because really, I want you to see this and make an educated decision if you would buy this for yourself or buy this for somebody else. Because most of these things go to my nephew as is. He comes over and he just raids it all. He's got loads to tackle these days. Or you want to know it goes to you. We're close to 6,000 views, 6,000 subscribers. This might be one of yours. Could be. I'm giving away a bunch of stuff at 6,000. So subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and thumbs up, and hit the notification bell too. Guys, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you like the new view and what I've done in this month's box, the bag. Tell me what you think. Should I continue down this road? Because quite honestly, it's going to take me a little bit longer to do each one of these videos because I can just do this in one take, put it on the computer, add some logos, and I can get this out the same day. This is going to take me a little bit longer to do. So tell me what you think. Guys, I hope you have a blessed day. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Wait till it pops. There it is. There it is. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Squish your head. Squish your head. We will see you soon. Cheers, guys. I want to personally say thanks for watching the video. So do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button and help us grow this channel. If you want to catch your personal best, I'm going to show you how right now. You got to click over here. Why? It lets you subscribe to the damn thing. Or if you want to see our last video, it's right over here. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers.